My journey with SAA began humbly in 2004, where recently appointed to UKZN, I was afforded the opportunity to attend uh, an SAA conference hosted by DUT. Uh, meeting people like Raj Naika, who was the conference uh, organizer, and uh, David Blizzard, who was on the executive, um, I was so impressed with their efforts that I made a challenge to myself and my team to produce at least one contribution to the SAA conference every year. Allow me to take you along memory lane. I started attending SAA around 1999. And my first impression was, these people are fluent in excellence and they really use high level English. And I had to sit there and find the meaning of some presentation flaunted buzzwords. Remember, Google was but just an infant then. SAR is known for remarkable speakers. Always a thought provoking and rewarding conference and the host will strut their stuff to bring the extraordinariness to the occasion. At some point I looked at the associations, volunteer associations in higher education in different professions, finance or uh, facilities or uh, whatever. Uh, and uh, I found back then that SAA was one of the earliest, uh, the oldest such volunteer professional organizations set up uh, and uh, in one of also one of the strongest. Uh, the others come and go, um, but this one is there for 30 years, has been there for 30 years. It's quite a remarkable achievement. In 2011, when I first uh, uh, got exposed to this field of institutional research, as an institutional researcher at that time, I happened to go to attend a, an SAA conference. Um, and in that conference, I met uh, Prof. Jan Botha and we had a little chat. He was encouraging me to go on with the SAA, blah, 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 blah. And uh, little did I know at that time that he would be, he, he would play one of the most important roles in my life to lead my doctoral studies. I was part of the organizing committee for the 25th conference hosted by Durban University of Technology. And since then, I've been a conference scholar uh, as well as an EXCO member. And I'm currently serving my second term with the XA Air EXCO. Hi. Wow. 30 years. What a milestone. I'm Elizabeth Bowie. In 2003, I got introduced to SAA while working at UNISA as an information analyst. 2004, I had to leave higher education for the corporate. Little did I know, 13 years down the lane, I came back to higher education. In 2018, I had the privilege and honor of being selected as one of the scholars to attend the DUT conference. That conference was memorable, insightful. And we had the honor and, and pleasure to dine with the then president of the SAA, John Claude Lemont, the vice president of SAA, Nikki Muller, as well as the administrator, Karen. My journey since rejoining um, SAA has been nothing but short of glory. My first experience of SAA was in the first year that I joined the institutional research space at my previous institution. And I remember in that first year of work, um, I felt like something was missing in my career. Like I needed a mentor. I needed, you know, someone that I could really speak to and engage with regarding issues of institutional research outside of my institution. And fast forward to a couple of months later into that new job, um, I found myself at an SAA conference. And that was the highlight of my career in that year. Because in, at that conference, I met a whole lot of people who became mentors to me, who became a source of support um, for, uh, with regards to the work that I was doing in institutional research. There were people I could really lean on when it comes to benchmarking um, and gaining new knowledge in the area of institutional research and looking at different ways in which institutions do the work that we do. Happy 30th anniversary to say. It wasn't an easy road though, but it was worth it. We are where we are today, due to resilience, passion, and hard work. Thank you to say for giving birth to IR and quality institutes. I had the privilege of working with most of the SAA past presidents and the current president during my time as both an ex-co member and as president of the association.
These members include Herman Fessel, Glenn Barnes, John Claude Lemons, Liz Archer, and Dile Ligena. I was also fortunate to work with different ex-com members who were dedicated at what they were doing. One thing standing out from my time uh, on the executive uh, I want to mention here is that under the influence what we've learned from our colleagues in America, uh, we tried to professionalize it a little bit more than purely a volunteer organization uh, run in spare time by whoever is involved. Uh, we appointed Karen uh, Stradon uh, as the uh, officer uh, on a part-time basis. Uh, and SAA Air uh, managed to maintain that for quite a number of years now. And Karen is doing remarkable work. Uh, and I think she is one of the major reasons why the association is so sustainable. I think if I have to just pick out a few names who were really influential over that time, it would be the likes of Gert Stein, who made really interesting contributions on national analytics in higher education. But also, I think more importantly, uh, Jan Porter and, uh, and Nicolene Murdoch, uh, and their leadership and professionalism really uh, forged a strong and um, robust society which uh, has been the uh, backbone of what we see today. As an association we are celebrating 30 years of existence this year so uh, it's really really a wonderful moment for us to celebrate together. Um, it's also a moment to, for us to thank the founding members of the association but uh, also uh, um, other leaders or exco structures which have um, developed the association to where we are today. I would like also to thank um, you uh, as the uh, delegates because the association survives on its membership. I, th I, I thank everyone who had contributed to where we are today. Especially, I don't want to forget Karen, our administrator for her hard work. Thank you, Karen, for being our big sister. Thank you very much. I have been a member since uh, 2021, three years. So that's one tenth of what we're celebrating um, today. See, the journey for me has been nothing short of the extraordinary. When I first joined, um, I had no idea of how much it would impact my life, how it would impact my career. But today I can confidently say, indeed, it's been a transformative experience. I even got the esteemed 2022 scholarship, an accolade worth a life and a half. And here we are, year three, celebrating not just, um, you know, SAS 30 years, but celebrating my growth as an individual um, and I think we've achieved so much together. During my time in office as the president of the SAA, I witnessed a remarkable change in the profile of the association where more young and up-and-coming professionals in IR were playing an active role in advancing the agenda of the SAA. This is an indication that the SAA is intentional in providing a conducive platform for skills development for its members. As the higher education landscape is rapidly changing and becoming more complex. We've obviously seen many, many changes uh, over that time and going forward we're going to see a lot more. And I do see a lot of young, energetic and enthusiastic uh, professionals coming into the space uh, and I think that's going to bode well for the organisation. So for all the leadership and executive, uh, but even the members of SAA, uh, I wish you all the best and uh, good luck. I confidently believe that together we will shape the future forward education landscape over the next 30 years with relentless energy and enthusiasm. My journey with SAA has been and continues to be one of learning, growth and dedication to advancing higher education. I am really looking forward to where SAA is heading as well as the new generation of EXCO members and professionals that are coming through into the higher education system. 
I am still passionate about capacity building and look forward to prioritizing capacity building within SAA and within SAIDI. In terms of the future of SAA, I see SAA as really becoming um, a place of fostering capacity development, especially amongst um, our young institutional researchers and institutional researchers who enter the space um, at a different time in their career when institutional research is a new space for them. I feel like um, SAA can play a very important role in fostering capacity in those individuals. Um, and yeah, that is it for me. Thank you. I really want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you, your passion, your dedication, your enthusiasm for the past three years is absolutely amazing. It is unforgettable. Each one of you has played a unique role in shaping my journey. And for that, I am truly grateful. I, th I, I thank everyone who had contributed to where we are today. Thank you very much. I love you all, guys. You serve with so much pride. Thank you for collegiality, loyalty, devotion, and being a friend. To all the peers that became friends, sincere gratitude and respect for your priceless efforts and contribution to SARE. It's wonderful to be part of this 30th uh, anniversary, and I'm particularly happy to see how enthusiastically and competently a new generation of leaders uh, is taking SAA Air forward. So I would like to thank you and uh, uh, all the members who have over and over and over uh, registered annually to ensure that the association can continue to prosper. Thank you very much. Let's uh, enjoy the celebrations and let's enjoy the conference together. Here we go. Thank you. I wish you all the best and uh, good luck. Thanks. And here is to a bright future working together for the betterment of higher education. Enjoy the conference. Cheers. Thank you very much. I love you all guys. Enjoy your anniversary. Thank you. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. I would like to congratulate the SAA on achieving such a milestone. 30 years, wow, this is really uh, remarkable. To the current EXCO, under the leadership of Dile, I say well done and thank you. So I'd like to encourage everybody to take any little encounter with anybody very seriously and think about them in the future and how they can help you uh, through one of some of the most important journeys in your life. It is an absolute pleasure to be befriended, you all. Take care on new adventures and tackle new uncharted terrains. Happy birthday, SAR. Happy birthday, SAR. Congratulations, SAR, on 30 years. Years to 30 more. Cheers to many more years of growth, learning, mutual success, and camaraderie. Aluta continua. Yepi 30th. Halala, SAR.